all right what's going on people of youtube welcome back my name is majestic and i know i haven't uploaded a video in two weeks and i do apologize life comes at you crazy so as you guys know i've been super busy um i have a family i love hanging out with my daughter she's awesome she's great um and i've just been super busy I, I've, I've had a lot going on but the real reason i haven't uploaded any content within the last two weeks is because a i've been streaming three to four days a week on twitch tv what the fuck are you guys doing follow me over there at twitch tv slash majestic jester we're three days a week i don't know what the fuck you guys are doing check me out over there um, but anyway, we've been streaming Dragon Quest, and this is going to be the part one video of Dragon Quest. I love this game. I hate the dialogue sometimes, but as far as uh, JRPGs go, uh, I play Final Fantasy VII. You guys know I love Final Fantasy VII. I've just been looking for something. Everything's kind of been dead. I kind of didn't want to get into a hard like MMO, which I'm about to start Final Fantasy XIV. We're going to talk about that in a future video um, because I, I'll, one of my best friends plays it. He loves it, but we'll talk about that later. So I've been trying to find games to play instead of fighting games because i'm just burned out i'm worn out i'm tired of playing them so i've been kind of diving into the single player genre a little bit and dragon quest was recommended from some of you guys and it's fantastic i absolutely love this game we're still playing it at twitch tv slash majestic jester so if you guys want to see me finish it if you guys are i've already seen it and you want to see me finish it and get to the end i'll be finishing the end probably here sometime within the next week or so but here is part one for you youtube andies i know some of you guys can't get on twitch I understand. So here's part one. I do enjoy the game. I hope you guys enjoy the playthrough. Please leave a comment if you guys have played Dragon Quest, what you guys think about it so far. Um, let me know, you know, if there's anything that I've missed or something that I can go back and get. I'll check out your comments and see if there's anything that I missed or any secrets or anything. Um, but I'm curious to hear you guys' opinions and feedback on the game. Anyway, my name is Majestic. Enjoy part one of Dragon Quest. This is going to be the next couple videos coming out for the next couple weeks or so will be Dragon Quest. So I hope you guys enjoy those videos until I can get, or try to recover my shit, at least on my hard drive, um, or get chance or get a chance to upload new fighting game content, such as, I mean, Go the Gear Strives out, which we just purchased, so we might get into that a little bit. Um, maybe some, go back to Mortal Kombat X, maybe dabble with some old fighting games, um, just to get some variety of content. So fighting games aren't going anywhere, they will be back, uh, but like I said, I've just been super busy, the hard drive flunked. So we just, we're just having some issues over here on my end. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough. I'm out. Stay majestic. Peace, people. Okay, that's the city, but what's the little... We were leveling, and I died last time, too. I forgot I actually died. Alright, there's my boy, Eric. Alright, um... This is a side quest. Oh, yeah, they want me to do the, the pip-up. I already accepted this quest. Wait, what the... What the fuck is this? Oh, uh, I'm gonna explore down here because I didn't even know you could go down the well. Glad I did that. Small scale. And the treasure chest, nice. Pointy hat. What was the okay, I forgot the, the menu for a second. Alright, yeah, we're a great sword. Uh Damn, that's a yeah, that's a really good hat.
That's a really good app. I can't go anywhere else, I think. That was dope, though. Good shit, chat. Alright, uh... How much do we need to... You know what? Fuck, you get a shit ton of XP here. Honestly. I think I should just fuck around and just start fighting shit. We need to go head through the Helidor foothills down to Helidor. Okay. It's literally straight up. But I'm gonna level because... We gotta level. Okay, so the monster XP is like so weird how it works. I think we'll level one more time and that should be good going forward. the dust. Nice. So I want to stack, to stack, uh, enemies. This is what I'm talking about. We just be stacking XP right now. 
Boom. Let's go. 58 XP. Holy shit, that's a lot. How much do we need left? We're about to level again, I'd say. Let's go see. We'll go rest and go check. Oh, actually, I, I don't want to rest it because uh, pep up. I got five now. On flame slash. All right. Does that mean I can I do it with great swords too, or is it just normal swords? Hold on. Let's see. Shit, that was tight! That was the quest, okay. <laughs> that was godlike. Alright. Alright, we're in the hang of this shit. Okay. Oh, I can choose Eric shit too. That's what I want to do, okay. 
Characters without swords or cryptic can can't use this ability with them. Ah, uh, okay. So it is dead ass. Just a sword ability. Shit. I kind of want to reset. But you know what? Fuck it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'll explain why in a sec. Yeah, that's 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 OP as fuck. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Yeah, I kind of hate that I fucking wasted that, but you know what? It's okay. How much more XP do I need till eight? <laughs> Time. Okay. Yeah, fuck that. Oh, All right. Gold chain. What the fuck does that do? HP just a bit, nice. buff son let's go I'm gonna rest and then we can fucking uh head up to the thing I think we're I think we're we're two levels higher than we should be I think we're fine dead ass I don't think anything bad's gonna happen yes I'm gonna sleep just head up Tactics a little bit. Yeah, okay, that's what's going on. Let's go. Here we go. Okay. Wait, what equipment does he have? It's a dagger. I thought he had a. S okay, we gotta get Erica sword base up. Uh. 
He's too nice not to have a sword. I thought he had a sword this whole time, chat. I'm so dumb. Alright, but I fixed the tactics so we're good now. So that way, at least I don't gotta worry about it going forward. Ooh, we get it. Nice. I don't know what hide does. I need to look at that also. Oh, what the hell does hide do? Sturdy a supple skin dropped by beast when beaten. Did I just sell this shit? Like, I don't know what any of these items do. Is there like a guide or something? I have no idea. It gives me a description, but it doesn't... Some of them say like, you know, they heal you and shit, but... I just have no clue. Alright, um... Do I have... Actually, hold on. Nice, I do have a sword for you. Let's go! Get a boomerang too? What? Dude, Eric is so tight. You don't have any equipment for the right hand. Wait, does my man get two swords? Hold on, bro, what? Okay, yeah, we gotta go to a shop ASAP. All right, let's get moving. I think we, we've already leveled twice, so I think we're fine. I think we're way higher than we need to be going forward. Wait, did that come up from there? Yeah, I think so. Okay. A new city, let's go. Welcome to downtown Heliod, nice. home to rogues, ruffians, and all my other favorite kinds of people. About a year ago, me and Dirk, my partner in crime, managed to uh, acquire one of the royal family's most precious possessions, the Red Orb. They got wise and pulled me in eventually, but not before we'd stashed it somewhere safe so we could pick it up later. Right down there is the biggest, stinkingest garbage pile in all of Heliodor. Me and Dirk buried the orb slap bang in the middle of it. After all, no one would ever think of looking for it there. Where criminal genius is, I tell you. Time to go liberate that loot to the garbage pile. Nice. All right, we got side quests, boys. Welcome. To, I'm not gonna read all. Do I have to read this? Welcome to downtown Iliador, the grimy little secret. Oh no, this is the guy that just tells you where to go. This isn't a side quest. Yeah. Okay. I forgot the pink dots are to tell you. So we got a church altar right here. Nice. Armory. Bye. What you got? Copper sword, 278. How do I know which one goes into his right or his left hand? You know? Like, it doesn't tell me. I think he's honestly low-key good with just, uh... What do I want to sell? It's a great question. It's 
See, like, I don't want to sell none of this shit because I don't know. See, that stuff tells me restores 10 MP, you know, but I don't know what this stuff does and I don't want to sell it because maybe you trade it or something later for some good shit, you know? I really don't want to be that guy to get rid of it. can't sell the... Oh, I can't... You know what? Then I'm just going to buy the copper sword for me, then. Fuck it. Wait, it only bumps up my attack. One point. Fuck that. Oh, I'm using great sword though, right? So that's actually a big jump. Let's see what the hell the copper chopper is. This is the great sword, hold on. Yeah, it's a, it's boosted by three. Uh, I feel like the great sword parry is inaccurate as fuck though. I feel like flame slash is better, but I got Eric for that, so you know, fuck it. I'm not gonna do it. We'll be all right. This guy's got. So yeah, I could buy leather shield. You get twenty nine defense and the sword, bro. Damn, man. But you know what? I'll just wait. So let's go check out this garbage pile in the middle, I guess. And uh, see what that's about. But at least I know where all the shops are, so that's good. This is the spot. Keep a lookout, okay? I'm going to grab the loot. Was around here. It's definitely here. Uh, it's not here. You gotta be kidding me. Me and Dirk were the only ones who knew where it was. Wait a minute. That rat! He must have done the dirty on me and taken it for himself. Damn it! I <laughs> should have known! A thieving little. Wait till I get my hands on it. I'm gonna find him. And you're gonna help me. Okay. The inn we used to crash at is just over there. Come on. It's the only one with an upstairs. You can't miss it. hasn't changed a bit. Back in our thieving days, Dirk and me used to lay low here whenever things got hairy. Ruby? Ruby, you there? It's me, Eric. There's something I need to ask you. Ruby runs the place. 
Looks like she's not around, but if anyone knows where Dirk is, it's her. Which means we'll have to go find her. So here's the plan. There's a tower they use to look out for fires. You're going to climb up there and keep an eye out for Ruby. I'll check a couple of other spots. Don't worry, you can't miss her. She's the only redhead in town. complicated than it needed to be Whew. way more complicated all right It's a scumbag. Okay. Okay. Okay, Dragon Quest. Heading back to the inn? Great! Oh, I see what they did. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> if it isn't my favorite landlady. I see what they did there, did. Welcome to our rumble. Last I heard, they'd locked you up and thrown away the key. Hang about. You've gone and escaped, ain't ya? You... Well, I know not to stick me big nose in where it ain't wanted. <laughs> you always did like to sail close to the wind. Don't worry, I won't be here long. I just need to know where Dirk is. Have you seen him? Dirk, eh? Now there's a name I ain't heard in a while. Didn't he open some fancy shop up by the castle? Yeah, that was it. Raking in the cash he is. That can't be right. The rent up there is crazy. Where will he find the money? Wait a second. He sold it, didn't he? The rat sold the damned orb. Hmm? Look. In this part of town, you don't go asking too many questions, you know that. If you want more, you'll have to get it from the horse's mouth. You're right. Thanks, Ruby. I appreciate it. We'll get out of your hair. <sighs> that no-good traitor! That he sold me out and sold the orb, and also he could move up in the world. Well, I'll get what I'm owed. You'll see. <sighs> but we'll need. 
need to get past that sentry if we're gonna head uptown and find him. Wait, isn't he... Yeah. I remember hearing that one of the guards is terrified of dogs. I think it was him. Maybe we can borrow one of somebody. What the fuck are we gonna get a dog? Yeah, he nice on bullseye. That great big coward of a guard nearly weed himself when he saw you. Who, you think, who do you think you're staring at, eh? Get lost. You what? You what? Where's Chris? I need Chris to read this. You what? You wanna borrow my dog? You're having a giraffe? Ain't ya? Look, I ain't got one for this one. Go on, slinger, look. God! Bullseye is a lone wolf like me, eh? Don't take kindly to strangers. Ah, uh, but you know who won't? Some holy water and buzz barrier too might change its mind. What are you gabbing at me like that for? It ain't like I'm asking much. Just go and shake the tree and grab some berries, ain't it? Go downtown and walk. God, straight on, big tree, fun berries on it, bosh. As for the water, well that ain't easy, buy it from a shop. I don't remember I say only water or raspberries, I want them both, otherwise no deal. Uh, God, okay, um, I got the berries, I just need the water. Must be holy water, right? Is that what she's talking about? Nah, there's gotta be something in for me. That's how things work around here. Just give me some water and some buzzberry or two, then we'll talk. Go shake a tree and grab some berries. I bought some water. Wait, is it just plain fucking water or something? Okay, hold on. Maybe, is it two holy waters? I'm gonna buy two just in case and come back. Because I have two berries, so maybe it's two holy waters too, huh? Uh, Oh, I didn't buy them last time. I'm an idiot. Okay. I was like, wait, I have the same amount of money, so I didn't even buy them. Alright, let's try this now. I have two just in case, but if it doesn't work, then I don't know where I gotta go. I don't know who else sells water. Oh, okay, let's see now. Yeah, it looks like what I asked for. You actually brought it. Alright boys, I hear my favorite buzzberries. We'll share those, alright? Good, aren't they, right? Let's sprinkle this water on you, shall we? Now the monsters are still clear when you go playing outside of town. Nice. What? Don't look at me like that. Bullseye looks after me. I look after him. Anyway, I promise, I promise. He's yours for a bit. Look after him, alright? 
Boys, I listen, boy. Go play with the nice man for a bit, okay? Halt! This gate leads to the nice part of town. <laughs> My job is to protect respectable people from being bothered by rabble and riffraff. In other words, you. Hmm. Ah! No, no, not a, a, a dog. Anything but that. Ah! <laughs> Work like a charm. Now to head up to where all the rich folks live and find out what the heck Dirk thinks he's up to. Let's do it, Chief. <laughs> Alright, boys and girls, so far so good, baby. We dropped a few friends with this because I had to exit out of some shit. Sorry, chat. Kratos, you're all up on my legs, buddy. I can't stretch or nothing. It's fucking awful, homie. I need you to move. Oh, sorry, big boy on. What the hell? Where are you at? Seat of strength. Go up here, there's the church. Definitely gonna go in here and save, I think. those cutscenes again and dialogue fuck that uh all right yes all right oh there's a bunch of side quests holy fuck okay oh wait I was, this is Upper Heliodor. Okay, I've been here. Okay, um... Yeah, I was here earlier. What was the quest again? This person wants me to get... I don't even remember. Yeah, I gotta get a book for her. Yeah, okay, but I can do these later, though. That's definitely not. Well, oh. no, that's not it. Fuck, I don't know.
We can't go up this way. Just said that. What's that? You're looking for a shot run by someone called Derek? Huh? I'm feeling there's someone by the name who lives in the big mansion by the castle. If you're heading up the part of the town, take my advice and use the rope up on the roof of this, of this home. You'll be there much quicker. Just word of advice, you'll need to be able to jump to get there. You can use B just in case you didn't know. Okay. Let's hit the rope on this house. I saw that earlier. Okay, so this is how you get up to the roof then. So, if that's the case. Yes, okay. Alright, since I'm up here, I need to find her fucking kitty cat. Oh, shit. Okay, so now to get up there now, so that's good. Alright, where's this fucking cat at, man? Jump. Can I not make? I don't think you can make that leap. The dead ass just don't think. Yeah, cause look, when like, you jump, you don't move forward. You like just stay in place. It's so weird. Yeah, like you don't move. Like, like there's no momentum in your jump. So I think I gotta just actually go across the rope and then like find a way another way around. Pretty sure that's exactly what I'm about to do. Yeah. There's that fucking cat. It's right there. I see it. Oh! Uh, no! Come on, dog! I can... I can... You have to jump. I don't think there's a rope over there. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna double check. I didn't see a rope though. That's pretty close. I feel like I can make that. I see the cat though. Okay, so there's that quest done. It's right there to the left, right where that chest is, like down below it. Alright, let me just see if I'm smoking crack real quick. No, there's no fucking rope to get over there. Yeah. So... So stupid. There it is. It's right there. Oh, 
Oh my god, how do I get up here? So fucking unfortunate. It really is. It's unfortunate as fuck, dude. All right, yeah, I don't know how to get over there. I'm just gonna go forward, fuck it. You can come back and do quests whenever it says so. Uh, we'll just go forward, because I don't know where the fuck, like. You would think that you could, like, make this jump right here, but you can't. Wait, there's a lot. Okay. There's a ladder. I just saw that. Boom. Okay. DK in a chest. Is a mini metal. Fuck is that? Kitty litter. What are these items? Your power with the purring pits apparently prefer. I have no clue what any of these items do. I'm gonna have to like look up a guide or something. All right, uh, all right, we're good, let's go. Quest done, there's still the book, but I don't know where to get it at. I don't think I can yet. I gotta wait on that. Tomorrow's a weekend. I think we're going to be playing either Gears 5, Fortnite. Uh, one of those two, probably. I like to play a shooter. I don't know. We'll be playing something tomorrow for sure. It's the weekend, so it's hopefully something with the boys. Oh, Deke Shop. It's right here.
There's a whole a hundred gold in there. Let's go. Wait. Oh, is this not it? That's not it. This has to be it. Yeah, okay. You got here. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to browse. You'll find we only stock the very finest wares. Uh oh. <gasps> That's good. Because I'm looking for something very special indeed. Happen to have any orbs in stock? Uh, Eric! Long time no see, old pal. You have no shame, huh? Get your backstabbing hands off of me! You always were full of it, Dirk. But this really takes the cake. Admit it. You sold me out and sold the orb so you could buy this place, didn't you? I never. I promise you, I never sold you out. I was worried sick about you. I only opened this place to try and help you. Oh, yeah. And how does that work, exactly? How does you opening this place and lining your pockets while I rot in jail uh -huh. help me? I was never much of a thief, you know that. But it turns out I know how to sell stuff. I got a gift, even if I do say so myself. <sighs> when you got nabbed, I spent months racking my brains for ways of busting you out. I couldn't stand the thought of you being in there. In the end, I realized I'd have to give up the orb. I took it to the king, told him I found it somewhere, and pocketed the reward. Then I used the cash to open up the shop here, and poured all my profit into bribing the guards up at the castle so they'd let you escape. Oh, now that you mention it, I did think it was weird they never tossed my cell the whole time I was digging that hole. Exactly! I was paying him to turn a blind eye, weren't I? <laughs> That's kind of dope. What a homie. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I doubted you, partner. That's the spirit. Eric, old pal, it's so good to have you back. But I need that orb. And now we don't even know where it is. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> All right, let's explore this a little. What's a mini metal? That's the second one I found. So, 
Where is it? After I handed over the orb, I made sure to keep my ears to the ground about where it ended up. I knew it was important to you, see? Well, a little bird tells me that Endrick and his men took it to the King's Barrow, and it's been under lock and key there ever since. The King's Barrow, huh? Sorry, chat. Which means we can kill two birds with one stone. You coming, Dirk? A little adventure for old time's sake? Sorry, no can do. I've got a shop to run and I'm a married man these mm. days. Married? Wow, you really have changed. Well, you always said you wanted to settle down and maybe go into business someday. I'm happy for you. We'd better get going. Take care, Dirk, and thanks for everything. You too, old pal. Be thanks lucky, for help. And don't you two go doing anything I wouldn't do. All right, Kratos. When am I getting a new mic? Never. Actually, probably here soon. The south gate is crawling with guards. We won't be one. Guess we'll have to go the long way around. Now that Corona kind of settled down and shit's in stock south, again. We should be able to approach the king's Inflation prices kind of went down a little bit. We can drop into cobblestone on the way. Okay. Watch yourselves out there, eh? They don't call that forest round there the mangle grove mm -hmm. for nothing. <laughs> It'll take more than a few kids stories to scare us off. Besides... Via down down here to head through the mingle grove to cobblestone. Honestly, was not paying attention. I was reading chat. Fuck. They were from downtown. Sleeping, I'm all up in his crib breaking shit. Wild. All right. Uh. Let's 
So I gotta leave through down. Oh, it's like where I came in from, wasn't it? This way? Yeah. Okay, I was like, where the f do I need to go? This has to be it. Downtown, yeah. I'd like to bust on your face. That's, that's a little sus, my guy. Wait, what? That's, that's a little sus, homie. Listen, I don't know how y'all get down in Ohio, but we don't do that here, alright? Anyway, how you been, Rob? You alright? Any sign of them? No, nothing. Let's search the town again. <laughs> Look at all those lights. They're pretty keen to find us, huh? We better steer clear of Heliodor until the heat dies down. All right. Through the mangle grove and onto cobblestone. Let's do this. Alright, where the fuck is mangle grove? That's down this way to the right, I'm pretty sure. I'm good, bro, bro. I'm good, man. It's been working a lot, dog. It's been working a lot. Your boy got promoted and shit, so. I've just been chilling. This is a new enemy. What the hell are these things? Lamplings. They're dope looking. Oh, that probably won't work. Oh. Yeah, we're buff as fuck now, boys. Yeet. Yeah, dog. I've been chilling, man. I'm doing really good. Why you been? How Dub, how's Dub doing? He seemed like he was doing okay last time I talked to him. How's the whole Madden shit going? You still playing? Or did y'all switch to like MLB now? What the? F oh. Flame slash, baby. Damn, that did so much damage. Holy shit. You don't talk to me no more. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's funny. It'd be like that, huh? It'd be your own homies, man. Juice. Through the mangle grove. I don't know where the fuck that's at. It's a new enemy, I think. I don't think I've killed this thing. Yeah. Fuck, it's a shrimp. Yeah. It's weak as fuck, though. I'm on MLB much better than Madden. Fuck yeah. I've, bro, I've seen Dub play it. No cap. That shit looks hard as fuck. Who else like, wants to some? play. <laughs> like, it looks like extremely hard. Like, it looks like there's like... What the fuck is going on over here? Holy shit. It looks like it takes a lot of... Uh, a lot of skill and a lot of patience. Fuck this thing. Uh, 
that parry up, bro. Block that shit. Bro, he's hit you for a big 14. Holy shit, that thing hits hard. Back at it again. For claiming at least 50 victory battles, so let's go. Fuck! I tried to run around and grab that shit. So how the hell does the rank play work on that? Like, I'm kind of curious. Like, how do you play each other? Like, is it kind of like, um, like Madden? Do you, like, get cards and shit? And then, like, you know, you get, like, different MLB players? Or is there, like, head-to-head? -head? Yeah, I'm just kind of curious, like, how does it work, I guess. Like, online-wise, like, how does it... Like the competitive, I guess like the competitive side of it, like how does it work? I guess is what I'm kinda, what I'm asking. Ooh, chest. Let's see shit though. What's... So that's actually a buff. Yeah, increase the strength by fucking two. Twenty-three strength, twenty-two strength. Let's give it the hero. I need to look at this shit a lot more. Got all these buffs, I didn't even notice. Alright. Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to fucking be here. No cap. I don't think this is the right way. Never liked it until the shoot, just someone help me explain it. It does have a head to head, but it's a very confusing game. Yeah, bro, I was watching Dub play it, bro, and I was like, Dub, do you. Like, I guess Dub just didn't know what the fuck he was doing, maybe. Or maybe Dub was making it a lot harder than it looked like. But, uh. Yeah. It looks mad hard, dude. Alright, 
let's uh just run back up. Check the map. Mangroves this way. Okay. new monster types. Another one bites the dust. Oh, that's new. The fuck are you? How's up here?
Alright. So far so good. Nothing else I can get. I'm just gonna run past this shit because I've already killed all of it. So we'll be right here at dawn tomorrow. Watch your step if we slip around. Uh, what particular cow? It seems our divine friends know a thing or two about what to expect weather-wise. Just a cow chilling. Yeah. It's not my it's not my place to question it. You know, I'll just uh go with the flow. Wait, did he literally no cap and just say the treasure chest is empty? Bro, what? Just when we needed one. Still a fair way to cobblestone. Let's rest up for the night. I still can't get over old Dirk. He didn't just go straight, married, shop in the best part of town. He went straighter than straight. Just like that. We used to be thick as thieves, <laughs> literally. We'd travel the world, always on the hunt for loot. Ah, those were the days. Oh, speaking of which, I just thought of something we acquired back then that might come in handy. Yeah, I've decided. I'm giving it to you. You'll love it. <laughs> we sure did when we got our hands on it. Behold, the fun size forge. Pop a few raw materials on top, bash them with the porter pounder, and bops your uncle. New equipment. Mm. And I'm not just talking steel swords and the like. Wooden boomerangs, a natty new jerkin. You name it, this thing can make it. Sweating over a hot forge was never exactly my style. And I have a feeling you'll get more use out of it than I ever did. That's awesome, actually. Is this like a mashup of a bunch of games? No, this is just uh, the newest one. You can't just go smashing stuff together willy-nilly, though. You'll need the recipe for the piece of equipment you want to make. Here's a little something to get you started. You should strike while... A tome entitled Forging Ahead with the Fun Sides Forge, a beginner's guide. Learns how to make bronze swords. Learn how to make divine daggers. There are recipes hidden all over the place. It, treasure chests and bookshelves are all... Yeah. You can use the Fun Sides Forge to craft all kinds of equipment based on recipes that you use for all materials you collect. On your adventures new recipes can be found in treasure chests on bookshelves you'll be able to acquire the ingredients you need by defeating monsters or investigating sparkling spots go ahead and try to make your first masterpiece with the recipe eric just gave you uh forge bronze sword divine dagger fresh water copper ore So that's what I'm, I'm glad I kept my materials, bro. I'm so glad I kept my materials. 
Spinning items come in your Select bash to start beating your ingredients into shape to finish and finish when you're ready to wrap things up. Hammer away each visual area with your Porta Ponder to fill a blue gauge next to it and aim to get every gauge in the green zone. Okay, I went way too hot. This is not gonna be hot at all. I fucked this up hard. Okay, yeah, okay, I get it now. Shit. Okay, I was trying to go back and redo it. Okay, hold on. You know what? I'm gonna retry this. All right, let's try this shit again. Let's not fuck it up this time, though. Alright. Boom. Easy. Bronze sword plus one. Oh. Oh, uh, we're about to level too. Nice. We'll level and then we'll leave.
Scale shields and scale armor. Okay, we probably should, uh, probably should go ahead and make that too. We'll level up first. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I don't have a shield. Got the pot lid. Alright. Alright, uh, we'll be back. I'm gonna level and then, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna level and come back and make that shit. Marco Majestic Hand is glowing. It seems to be just trying to cure, cure, hold your hand to it. Let's do it. Give me some godlike power. Chop, chop, chop. Chop around the clock. One, two, three. Look out, trees. Oh, a woodcutter's life is the life for me. <laughs> what in the world? I repaired the bridge only yesterday, and now some blighter's gone and destroyed it again. If I ever find out who did this, I swear I'll... Ta-da! You called? Tricky devil at your service! <laughs> I went to a lot of trouble to smash at this stupid bridge. I'm not about to let you fix it again. Here, get a load of my devilishly tricky shapeshift beam. <laughs> I turned him into the dog, okay. Cutter. The next minute, you're a smelly old dog. I'm a devilish genius. <laughs> now, what mischief shall I get up to next? Oh, so much trouble to cause so little time. <laughs> Bye, doggy. Stay. Bye, doggy. Stay. <laughs> treasure chest. I think I've just hit upon my most devilish trick yet. Alright, I was just at that chest. I know where that's at. What the heck just happened? You touched that plant and then I saw all this crazy stuff. You really expect me to believe that this... Huh. There's never a dull moment with you around. I'm gladder every day I broke you out of jail. Well, all I know for sure is that we're never going to get out of this forest until we get that bridge fixed. And if what we just saw was true, Rover here is the only one who can fix it. Why don't we find that chest and have a word with our mischievous friend? Let's head back the way we came and see if we missed it somewhere. Oh, I know exactly where it's at, brother. 100%. Bubble slime.
New spell learned. Says. Who's bruiser? This is good dodge tan. What was that? Dodge tan two percent. Yeah, Eric's got some pretty cool shit. Alright, so Eric's about to level two. I have a feeling. Yeah, we're poison. Fuck. Eric's got three now. I'm gonna make him a divine dagger. I should be straight. Oh, are you fucking kidding me, bro? You really wanna die that bad? Yourself. I was trying to leave I was trying to leave you be. Fuck, it's where the fuck is this? 
Oh, I think it's further back than that. You want some? <laughs> yeah, I think it's further back than that. I think it's, uh... Yeah, it's not up here. I'm gonna go rest. I know exactly where that shit's at. Uh... To the right. I'm gonna go rest because my voice hurt. will actually be less. I got so much shit chat. Let's go. Good shit. We're Gucci chat. We're golden right now. Alright. Stack. Alright, let's go. Oh, let me save real quick, actually.
So we got scale armor. We went with normal shield. We got our buffs. Uh, we're honestly pretty good right now. We're sh we're sh solid. Alright, now we just need... The chest, here we go. Seriously? The only thing I'm shocked by is how lame you are. Roast. What did you just... Oh, cheeky devil! Don't you know who I am? I'll teach you for my next trick. I'm gonna beat you to a pulp! Oh shit, this is a boss? Nice. Oh. Let's do this. Let's go. That was our first boss, technically. 102 experience. Holy shit. Let's go. Back. Oh, look, it's our pal the pooch. <laughs> Not anymore. Thanks to you, I'm back to my old self. I'm Flint the Woodcutter. What's up, Flint? And I owe you more than words can possibly say. How can I ever repay? New weapon. It's funny you should ask. We were hoping that some kind soul might fix that bridge the monster smashed up. It would be my pleasure. Why don't you go back to my cabin and put your feet up? I'll have it mended for you at no time flat. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Much obliged. Sorry to have kept you waiting, but I'm happy to announce that the bridge is fixed. In fact, it's even sturdier than ever. You don't hang about, huh? Thanks. You've really helped us out. Come on, Bubba. Come on. Finally. Move your ass so I can put my feet in here. Thank you. You're the best. Oh. That's what I need right there to stretch. Now, young fellow, about this vision of me being turned into a dog you saw when you touched that glowing plant. The more I think about it, the more certain I am 
What you experienced can only have been the guidance of Yggdrasil. Uh, does that mean anything to you? It's something my dear old granddad told me about when I was a boy. Yggdrasil is the giant floating tree at the center of our world, of course. The source of all life, as some call it. If the legends are to be believed, each one of its leaves represents a life, and its power preserves the peace and harmony of our realm. The glowing plant you found in the forest is actually a part of Yggdrasil, a piece of root poking through from beneath. It's said that the World Tree can choose to communicate via her roots, but only with certain very special people. And that's what my granddad meant by the guidance of Yggdrasil. He was talking about just such visions as you saw. <laughs> it's all coming back to me now. As a boy, I'd spend hours talking to the silly old thing. But did anything ever happen? Not a bit of it. But you, young man, you're different. You're one of the special ones, chosen by the World Tree. And you've got grey hair, too. Life just isn't fair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so not only are you the luminary, you're also Yggdrasil's favorite little leaf, huh? Some guys have all the luck, I guess. Well, we can't stand around talking about how great you are forever. Come on. Alright. Hey monsters, let's go. Hat witches. <laughs> Weird. Oh, girl. You want some? Let's see what's up here. We're so overpowered now, Chad. It's insane. I love it. Alright. Uh, I don't think there's shit down here besides new enemies, but we already fought those things. 
Yeah, it's a big ass circle. Okay. Oh, I did miss something. Okay. Pink pine. Still no clue what that does yet. Once we get to this next city, I'm gonna take a quick break. Okay, I know the fuck we are. Oh, slimes! All the night left, which means I can go down here now. I just might be able to go down here. Will it let me actually travel this way now? What the fuck? I don't think I need to go this way, but... Unless we go to the Emerald Coast. Okay, cool. So now I have some freedom a little bit now. Because all this shit was blocked off when I started, and I was like, that's kind of dumb. But it looks like it's open, which is tight. Alright. Uh, well, Cobblestone's this way. It's tight. We made it. Desperate to stuff your face as always, I'm sure. Oh! Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? What nonsense are you talking? My boy is six years old. Who do you think you are, waltzing in here? Whoever you are, I want you out of my house this instant. Don't make me say it twice. Wait, she forget who I was? What the fuck? I'll never get it back. My name's Gemma. Who are you? Bro, what happened to Gemma?
that's not your name. You mean you're looking for him, right? He went to look for Chalky. Come on. What hey. happened while I was gone? Why is she so little now? <laughs> oh, I gotta sneeze. Ugh. We're gonna scratch that. Ah, this area is open. Nice. She runs so slow, like she's in the Matrix or some shit. Ooh, Kalina Four, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the game. I appreciate it. So on your damn all my you're loud as fuck. Can I borrow your ladder? Damn, that just broke my whole thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, they just knocked everything out of place. What the fuck? The wind blew Gemma's scarf off and now it's shut down the, the whole stream. Thank you, I appreciate it. Much love. Welcome. Ricolina. Oh, Ricolina. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. We don't need the ladder anymore. That nice man over there got my headscarf down for me. It's me. He said he was looking for you. Is he a friend of yours? Nope. I've never even seen him before. I talk. I think it might be me he's looking for, you know. Why don't you two run along and play and leave us grown-ups to talk? Thank you. No, thank you. Welcome. I appreciate the love and support. Since you were a baby, after all, I knew it was you right away. But you don't look too happy, my lad. Care to tell you, old granddad, what's on your mind? I see. So, you're from a future where I'm no longer around. Carnelian went and threw you in the dungeon. And to think I trusted that he'd do right by you. If I'd known how things were going to turn out, I would have told you everything instead of hiding the truth from you for all those years. But you don't have time to be listening to an old man's regrets. Here's what we're going to do. If you head east out of the village, you'll come to Cobblestone Falls, as you know. Go there and dig in front of the three-sided rock. Got that? Hmm? The three-sided rock at Cobblestone Falls. You'll know the one I mean. Three-sided rock, Cobblestone Falls, okay. Oh. oh, but what a fine figure of a man you've become. I'm so glad I got to see you all grow up. You'll be good now, lad. Don't waste your time bearing grudges. Live life with love in your heart. You always saw me, right? Bye now. It looks like Grandpa Gohan.
Okay. It's none of these, but I just wanted to see what was over here. Okay, uh... I'll say maybe it's this way. There's something blocking it. Uh... Okay, that's definitely not it then. Alright, so... Meet with him in the center. Oh, I gotta meet with her, okay. No, I think that's the right way, I just gotta talk to her first. for getting Gemma's headscarf back for her. Come back and play any time you like. <laughs> it's ages till I gotta go home. What should we play now? Well, we could play, um... That was trippy. Okay? I lost you for a minute there. Not surprising, I guess. <gasps> oh, so he was. It was the mark. Okay, I knew something was up. It was like the flower, so it took him back in the past. I was like, what happened? This shit has to be destroyed. Yeah. And just because you grew up here, what kind of animals are they? Jasper and his goons must have ridden straight here after you got thrown in the dungeons and torched the place. That was a good trick. Hey, just now, when you zoned out, the mark on your hand was glowing. And so was the root wrapped around that tree. Was it another one of those it visions? Was. It was, Eric. That was sick. So I was looking at the cobblestone from the past, oh, not the so you, present. You went back in time and spoke with your granddad and... and yourself? That is seriously weird. Must have been the root here. It must have the power to show you the past. Well, if what your granddad told you was right, then we need to head over to Cobblestone Falls. Where did you say it was? East of the uh -huh. village? Listen, I know this can't be easy, but hanging around here isn't going to do anybody any good. Come on. Look at it, bro. See how much we need to level. 
200 for me, 188 for Eric. What? That's fuckery. Alright, uh. Let's save. And four hours into this game chat? Four hours already? That's crazy. I'm loving it. I love it. Alright, I'm going to go use the bathroom and grab a water real quick, chat. Just bear with me. Thank everybody who joined and follow again. I appreciate it. Shouts out to uh, Hackjoid. I appreciate the follow. And uh, Ricolina. I like saying that. I don't know why. It's got a good ring to it. Thank you, guys. Anyway, I'll be right back. Give me just a second. Be right back, chat. Stay tuned. All right, so we got to go to the south of Cobblestone. That's this way. I don't think there's a, uh, or I'm sorry, not south, east. I don't think there's shit else here in Cobblestone that I haven't already got. I'm gonna go down here and check just to see if anything's changed in the future. I thought there might be like a cool little easter egg or something down here, but clearly there's not. Oh, this house is destroyed now. Damn, they destroyed the house outside the city too? Fuck. They did not care. Straight up savages. But this pathway is open. Now. I'm pretty sure this is where we have to go. Welcome back. Thank you. I don't want to leave the area, so... Is this the right... Wait, uh... No, this is the, uh... This is the tri... Okay, this is definitely not it. This is the trial. This is like the beginning of the game. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to go this way. I need to head down to the Emerald Coast. Okay. That's where that guard was at earlier, so I know that's uh Damn, that's so far back though. Fuck, we gotta backtrack that far back? Okay. Damn, that's a journey. Okay, okay. That's my fault. Coast is what the f to the right. To the right. Okay. Oh, forgot these things even exist. Give me a horse. to the grave that's 
it's marked like three. What do you say? Three side of rock. Okay. Huh? The top one there has seen better days, that's for sure. My dearest, darling baby boy, when finally you come to read this, I will almost certainly be long dead. You see, not long after you were born, our beloved kingdom of Dundrazil was attacked by an army of monsters. I was forced to flee with you in my arms and expended the last of my strength in ensuring that you escaped to safety. If you are fortunate enough to have been found by some kindly soul, you must seek out the king of Heliodor when you come of age. Our kingdom and his have long enjoyed close relations and your father and I would trust him with our lives. Well, he just tried to kill me, so he fucked up, Chief. Never forget, my son. You are a prince of the kingdom of Dundrazil. But more than that, you are the luminary. Yours is a weighty burden indeed. It is you who must stand against the darkness and banish it from our world. In time, you will come to understand. It breaks my heart to leave you, my darling. But it is the only way. I own. It's from someone important to you, right? Your mother or something? Don't worry, you can tell me about it later. What about the other one? <laughs> Damn, Eric. I can't cope for a second. It's fucked up. To my dearest grandson. I haven't the foggiest how you managed it, but I met your future self today. As promised, I've buried some things here that will help you on your way. Have you read your mother's letter yet? It was in your basket with you when I first found you. It was because of that letter that I asked my Amber to send you to see the King when the time came. I only wish I'd known how things would turn out. I don't know why Dundrasil was attacked, or why King Carnelian thinks so badly of you. Oh, I'm just an ignorant old man from a little village in the country. But I do know that the answers are out there somewhere. The keystone in this box will open the door of departure off to the east. You must go out into the world and seek the truth. Remember now, don't waste your time bearing grudges and live life with love in your heart. All the best, now and forever. Grandad. Good advice. Actually, keystone. So we use the keystone to open the door of departure and head out into the world, huh? Well, sounds easy enough. You better believe I'm coming with you. You said it was just east of here, right? Well. What are we waiting for? I don't think I've passed this door yet, so I have no clue where this oh, is. I know what we're waiting for. I've got some unfinished business to attend to. The orb. 
The King's Barrow is not too far from here. Just down the way, in fact. Let's go claim what's rightfully mine. Actually, yeah, we do need to get the orb. Nice, okay. The Kingsboro is straight into the right. Oh, there's probably new monster types. Let's go look. There is this that this thing right here is new. What the fuck are you? Oh shit, there's a bunch of new monsters. Okay. Fight abilities, flame slash. Gloomy, Grublin, Leafy, Lampling, and Hill Slime. Hill Slime, that's a new slime, cool. He just got fucking yaeated though. Oh, I'm using. Why am I using Flame Strike on fucking fire? It's dumb. Sixty four XP. I don't know what that does. Oh, what is this thing? What the hell are you called? Ego skeleton. <laughs> That's actually pretty neat. I fuck with that. I thought that was supposed to burn a, a, a whole team of enemy, it didn't. Fire. Thanks. I don't know why I healed him. And there's a camp right here, but fuck it. XP here is pretty fucking high, dude. What the fuck are you? You're new. No, you're goblins. But the XP here is still not bad. I might go ahead and level real quick, actually. I'm trying to see if there's anything I have not fought yet. I'm gonna go ahead and level while I'm out here, I might as well. Pretty close. I think I needed 200. the duck. Uh, we'll go see after this how close they are. I'll just block that shit. Let's go. The and fire straight ahead, okay. Or oh, yeah. see, come here, all right. Oh, 
Oh, those are new monster types. The big ass crab. Alright. What we at? We need 26, 14. Bet. Perfect. Definitely gonna kill whatever the hell that thing is and that thing for sure, but I need to get all this shit real quick. What's on the pier? I wonder. What the hell's on this like this house? There's probably something crazy back here. There's a guy fishing can kind I of talk to him? Oh hey there, we don't give me visitors around these parts. You've come to the Kingsborough. I'll wager. I thought as much. No point dragging your hide all the way out here otherwise. Well, you find out the west of here, you can't miss it. Oh, he just gives me some advice. That's cool. Uh, a pie that has gold. Damn, you think there'd be something crazy out here, and there's not. Whack. Let me go see what this is, and then we'll kill these two new monster types. Then we'll save, we'll level up, save, and then we'll go to town. I think that's the wave. I think that's the plan. Alright. Here we go. Calamari Kids. <laughs> the names, man. The names are great. They don't have hard at all. Let's go with the XP is fat, dog. Evac. Three new skill points. Yes. I only got three. Oh, I'm gonna have to save. But my boy Eric It's Ooze Bruiser for daggers. And Dagger Tree seems to be his strong suit. Look at this. He gets some crazy shit, bro. Oh, dual wielding. Allows the weapon to be equipped in the right hand as well as the left. Yeah, okay. We're fucking with daggers. That's it. <laughs> it's it. Is it? Is it? It's uh. That's what we need. Yes. Matter of fact, I'm about to go ahead and switch his shit right now. About to give him a divine dagger and let him be on his way. All right. Uh. What the hell are you? Dude, that crab looks crazy. Let's what go. the fuck? Rabid. <laughs> okay. Like <laughs> rabid. <laughs> uh, I love this game, dude. This game is. This game's got some fucking charm. For sure. I'm a fan. Pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh. Yeah, he's gotta get a divine dagger for sure. For sure. Wait, can he? Ribs and coral. I don't know what the fuck that is. Can he do? I don't think he can do dagger moves while. Um... 
I think we already we tested this earlier, but I don't think we can. Hold on, we'll find out. Uh, how the fuck did they get first strike? Right? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Oh, Swan some. <laughs> nice. Okay. But the XP here is fucking no more you soon. Ooh. Damn, yeah, that's a that's a big chunk. That's a big chunk. Alright, I'm gonna sleep. Wait, can I forge new items? Excuse me? Yeah, I don't see anything new. It's all the same shit. Okay, I got really excited for a second. Oh, that's outside of camp. Okay. All right, let's go rest, and then let's just go into the city. I think we're good. I don't think there's any new types, at least close by. I don't want to, like, extend myself go kill new monsters, you know what I'm saying, if I don't have to. Let's go ahead and just stop here and see what's up. See what's popping. to them. Huh? It's just a corpse. Oh, shit. I really can't like focus with you. Oh, uh, okay. There's some big boy monsters down here. Oh shit, two of these things? These things hit hard, so that's good. Little devils. We got some, we got some fat XP though. Okay, what the fuck's... Okay, this is it. 
Some sort of item out here. Nice, okay. Weird. All that for a little item? Mm, maybe I gotta come back out here like in time. That doesn't matter. I probably don't have to fight them. A lot of shit in this dungeon, my guy. All right, hell slime, I'll fight. Let's go. Get fucking uh, haste, bro. That's whack. The new skill you gave Eric was for his boomerang. Oh no, was it? I thought it was for the dagger. Oh, that's tragic. I swear, I thought it was for the dagger. that right now is there any way i can re oh please tell me i can reset that or something later because if not that's awful hold on uh how do i look at its attributes no Oh my god, it says boomerangs above the top! Oh my god. That is... That feels fucking bad. That feels so bad. Oh. I believe at the save status, I can reset the skills? Okay. Recalling that you're a lifesaver, thank you. Oh my god, that is trash. I mean, boomerangs are probably sick though, I don't know. But I'm not trying to find out. I have a game plan. Oh, that's trash. Wait, I just went in a big ass circle? Oh, hold on. feels so bad. Oh, that's tragic, dude. Okay. Uh. Ah, uh, okay, so it did take me in a circle. I figured. Okay. Strength ring. Nice. Uh, 
There's not shit else out here though. So this just takes me in a big ass circle. Wait, hold on. Yeah, it's just that it's just that big fucking circle. What am I doing? the experience per monster that's not bad like no cap that's really good all right i guess i gotta go back this way uh, this is where i came from right yeah okay so let's just backtrack. Let's come down. We go. We've already been up there, but we can't go out that way. Nothing here. Big ass empty room. So we'll go to the left. The right. Okay. So there's a extra hallway. Sam Floor's uniform. What the fuck is that? Ah! All right, I take it away. Damn, that's a shit time, bro. Let's do this. You gotta go. Dude, big boy fucking uh XP. That's wild. There we go. My genius. It was that one hallway I just couldn't see. That looked similar. I'm a genius. I knew it. Alright, uh. You spot a monster sparkling away when you're out and about. That means you'll be able to ride it or its mount if you can manage to defeat it. This will enable you to access areas you otherwise couldn't get to. It will also enable you to use unique abilities. Why not give it the shiny Ego Skeleton a good hiding? Who knows where I might be able to take you? Hmm. Cool. Thanks for the tip. I noticed it was like a shiny. I thought it was like a weird, like a shiny Pokemon or some shit, like a weird variation. Um, get murked. Another one bites the dust.
damn, the ego still hits hard as fuck. It's for a 10 each time? That's crazy. Who else wants some? <laughs> oh, I stay in this mode? Okay. I'm gonna go back up just to see if there's anything that I missed. And I got this crazy, uh... I don't think so, honestly. I really don't think they, the game's that five-head. Because every time I've been thinking it's five-head, it's not. So I'm just not even going to waste the time. I'm just going to go forward. Because I dead-ass really believe that I would have noticed it on the way up here. I don't think it's that big. Yeah, I just, I just don't. Oh, sh what the fuck are these things, Griffins? There it is. Alright, perfect. Right on time, baby. It's about to be 5 o'clock in the morning. Let's go! Hey, what do you think you're doing? That orb belongs to us. Get your filthy hands off it. Whoever you are, you've just made a seriously big mistake! Oh. Grim Griffins. Gryphons. Oh, I bet these fucking things hit hard. Okay. Who's up first? Hero. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and heal Eric. Right off the rip. This hits both. Let's go. Oh. You want some? Fifty-five! Holy fuck! Go. How much XP was that? 330, dude. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Eric learns new spell, Rubble Rouser. Usable. Eric learns new pet power that he can be performed with Majestic's help. Scorched Earth. Let's go. GG's. Yes, sir. No, I want to save my points. I'm gonna go back. I think you're right, Ricolina. I'm gonna go back and check real quick and see if I can reset that. Cause if so, I got a build Amateurs. I want to do now that. But who the hell were they? Let's go. Ooh, perfect stopping point too, baby. Well, whatever. It's back with its rightful owner now, and about time too. You know, after they threw me in jail, I thought I'd never see this thing again. But here I am holding it. You're some kind of lucky charm, you know that? 
I've got a feeling that if I stick with you, everything will turn out okay. Just don't ask me what I mean by everything. That's my business. Right, I've done what I came to do. Guess we should head east and check out that door of departure place your grandpa mentioned. I think you're absolutely right. It's a fantastic idea. Oh, do I have to walk all the way back upstairs? No way, you're capping. You're fucking capping! You're really gonna make me walk all the way back up there. That's trash. That is whack. They should get. I, I'm. <laughs> Hopefully, is there's like an item later where you can like leave dungeons. What's it called in Pokemon? Like escape ropes? You know what I'm talking about? I looked it up. Respecting the skills unlocks later in the story. Fuck. Uh, okay, that's fair though. At least I know it's coming though, so I can go ahead and start focusing into one thing, yeah. Thank you for letting me know that without spoiling anything. I appreciate that. Uh, what was the way out of this fucking dungeon again? Is this way, right? No, fuck. Wait, I learned a new move of Eric too, or was it a pet move? I'm gonna go to camp real quick. Oh my gosh, let's see, I think I did. Yeah, summons an earth signal that will inflict damage to enemy every time they try to try to act. Wait, what? What's it do? Oh, anytime it attacks, it takes damage. Is that what happens? It is. That's cool. So that's like some good setup shit. Okay, that's dope. I like that a lot, actually. A whole lot. Uh, see where we are. I hit this tree real quick. Six hundred and thirty from next level. Resurrection. What is it?
Oh, 10. Good chat. All right, chat room. I'm going to call it on that. Uh, I think we're at a good stopping spot. I think we just got the orb. We're about to head off into the door of sanctuary with this new key. I think we're great. Now that we know we can respect, that's also good. We kind of have like a path where we want to go for each character. And I'm sure our party's going to get a lot bigger as soon as we get to more areas. Um, so I kind of got to figure out what the other characters do.